any unprocessed card lock batches that have been either pushed or pulled into Commander will appear on this screen. We'll process a network batch. Once the import is complete, Commander saves a backup copy of the raw batch data in an archive file. The first step is to validate all transactions. Valid transactions have prices calculated and taxes applied in this step. Commander will show you a validation report, as well as a report for invalid transactions. Usually, a transaction will be flagged as invalid in the case of a new card being issued to a customer, but that card has not been set up yet in Commander. Once you set up a new card in Commander, you can rerun the validation process just for those that were previously invalid, so nothing gets lost. The validation report is like a shorthand view of each card transaction, sorted by customer and then by card underneath each customer. The federal and state taxes are highlighted so that you can be sure the taxes look right. Your markups or markdowns have been applied, so you are seeing your unit selling prices here too. There were no invalid transactions in this batch, so we can go to the next step. Suppose, after looking at the validation report, you discovered some things that needed correction, such as a new price agreement with a certain customer that had not yet been set up in Commander. Well, Commander gives you complete editing capability for any detail of any transaction. You can fix things and keep moving. You can even manually build a card lock invoice in this part of the program. Let's take a look at this transaction, for example. Account 99,000 is for our foreign sales. By clicking the tabs here, you can access editing capability for different parts of the transaction. If you made any edits, you save your work. We have pulled in our raw data we have sorted it, priced it, and found any invalid transactions. And we have edited anything that needs fixing. Notice the two radio buttons on top of the screen. The default is batch mode, which means that Commander will create invoices for everything in a batch. If you choose transaction mode, you will see a display of individual transactions in the data grid, and you would be able to select the ones that you want to convert to invoices. In that case, any unconverted transactions stay associated with their batch number and would continue to display as an available batch. Now we create the invoices. At this point, the card lock invoices have been created, although they have not been printed or exported, and they have not been posted. But each invoice you see here has already updated the customer's available credit balances in real time. And here are our invoices. And here is our foreign sales invoice. Commander's card lock module gives you a smooth flow of processing, total control over the contents of invoices, and real-time updates to AR balances upon creation of invoices.